Hello everybody, this is Painted Black, and welcome to the Notre Dame de Paris, circa 1482. This is the primary setting for the Victor Hugo novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. In these first images that you'll see, um, you'll notice three real big things. One, uh, there's a lot of plain stone. Two, there's a colored floor design and color-coded floor design. And three, there's also like all the windows are, pain, are plain glass. Well, they're not, they're, they're, they're glass and glass pane, depending on the location of the window. Um, the, and of all those, the real big notable thing is that the floor um, plan is actually included um, by Tom Builder in the, uh, like, his spreadsheet to build it if you want to build it on your own. I could actually uh, might have to that. But um, I used... Uh, I used plain stone initially from the beginning because I wasn't really worried about block choice at this point. I was more worried about um, just getting the structure up. And then um, this was started, I started working on this before the update, before the uh, stained glass update. So that's why there's a lot of plain glass in World War II. Um, the other thing is, is that I also spent a lot of time, uh, and, I, and I briefly mentioned this in captions, but it kind of downplays it a little bit. Um, I spent several months trying to figure out how to finish out the facade. I had the facade partially done for a good while, um, and it took me a while to figure it out. And then the other thing that took me a while to figure out was the uh, the, the flying buttresses on the eastern wing. Um, I they were kind of oblique, and I, it took me a while to figure out exactly how to work them out as well. These next images that you'll see um, were taken seven months later when the build was virtually done. And as you can see, it looks like a completely different build, but it's actually one of the same. And one of the reasons why, well, the main reason why it looks so different is that um, when I finished the facade, um, that I had a real good look, but I, I was just totally satisfied with the look of the facade. It had that really kind of aged, rotting, uh, collapsing, decrepit kind of a look that I was going for. And I decided that, you know, the whole rest of the build looks so plain, let's carry this look over to the entire building, pretty much. And that's what I did, inside and out. And it was such a big task that what I wound up doing is doing it in sections. And I kind of decided to, well, let's kill two birds with one stone. You know, let's, as we're doing, like, reworking the whole building, let's add some of the appropriate interior uh, detail where it needs to be. But you know, with that, I wound up having to strike this balance between, well, on the one hand, definitely putting interior stuff in there to make it feel like a place, but then on the other hand, to kind of really downplay the religious end of it because A, I'm not religious, and B, the server is not religious. That's one of the big reasons I joined it. Um, so I, I, I had that that I was working with. Um, and then if you'll notice, uh, this build also has a giant central spire. Um, and originally I had this as a two-story spire, but I actually found that, um, or learned rather, that at the time, and around the time that this, um, that this, you know, build would, you know, was pretty much meant to represent, um, it was actually another bell tower that had a five bells in it, so I had to make that change. And then, um, the, uh, the whole rest of the, the plot, the foundation, uh, I had to put a few layers of stone in there, and the reason why I did that was because, um, the, the where, where you see all the flowers and the plants, um, you know, like ferns and flowers and tall grass and stuff. Um, I didn't want, I wanted them to be on dirt. I didn't want them to be growing on grass because I kind of felt like, well, that would kind of, to me, that is more of a horror element, I guess, is to not have the grass growing. Um, and so I really just put the stone in the foundation to keep the grass from growing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, until next time, uh, keep building, have fun, and take care. Bye-bye.